All right, all right. Good day to you, good day to you. This is the Spy Lord coming to you. We're going to do a video on uh, Weeble stop losses on the desktop, okay? I've had a few people reach out, and uh, you'll notice I, I run the uh, Turbo Trader um, Turbo Trader options on Weeble. Now you can do this. Uh, you can do this even if you go up here to options and use the regular options chain. Let's say you wanted to buy uh, 562, and you you make your buys from here. You can still click on positions when you're done and uh, and set your stop loss. So this is a this is an easier way to me. Um, your window may look different, but these are all in blocks like your uh, you can click in between any of them drag them make them bigger make them smaller even up and down like my turbo trader here I can uh, drag that up drag that down it's pretty easy to move around and customize your layout however you want to now on this particular way we're gonna buy I'm gonna buy a uh, I'm going to buy an option. If you're running Turbo Trader, I'll give you two selections here. If you're running Turbo Trader options, you come to this drop down. You know, each one of these are a drop down tab, okay? Now, if you, um, if you click on your Turbo options and right click and then choose the first one, option settings. You're going to see something here called the buy button. Okay. Right here on the buy button. Okay, sorry about that. Right here on the buy button, you can automatically set your stop loss and dictate what percentage you want it to be. And as soon as you place an order, it will automatically set your stop loss for you. Now, um, they are a little, a little more you go into to be able to adjust them, um, but you can still get to them through the positions drop-down tab that I'll show you in just a second. Um, I'm going to take this off for now, though. But you can add it here, and then you don't have to go set another order. It's just a really quick way to go ahead and add it. You can do take profit also. Now, if you don't run the turbo options um, you can still do this through the positions tab I'm gonna purchase one here we're not really in a good spot in the market but I'm gonna I'm just gonna purchase one here just for the heck of it we'll do the cheapest one um, okay we're gonna buy a We'll buy put right quick. I'll just buy it at market. Okay. You're going to see my position is displayed right here on Turbo Options. Now, right here is my positions tab. You may have a positions tab down in here. Wherever it is that you, you see your positions tab, you can click on positions and you'll see your order. Okay. You see, I'm up. Uh, I have one. Here's the open P and L. It's break even right now, flat. If you just click on this, it's going to put this option on a chart for you. So we're just going to left click. Looky there, it brings it up on its own chart. Right here's where it's display. And you'll notice if you highlight it here, it's going to say take profit, stop loss. Okay. So if I click that. It's going to, you just click it once and release it. You go down to set your stop loss. And I can set it, you know, there's 67%, 25%, wherever. I'll set it there. And then it. you just click it. Then you're going to click it again up here with your take profit. Let's say I want to take profit at 50%. And then you confirm. And then it's going to make you place the order. Okay. So let's say I want to move this um, it's at 51 cents I put a stop at 30 
I'll just click it and drag it up to like, let's say 40. And then you confirm it again. Now you've moved your stop up. Up here is your take profit. If you want to move this up really high just so it don't run and get you quick, you can move it up kind of high. And if it does run up there, it's going to take profit for you. Pretty easy. Okay. Now, if you want to just get back on your regular chart and leave that be, you can just pull. If you have another window set up with your normal chart on it, that's fine. You can go over and do that. And here it goes moving. But I'm going to go back to the spy on my watch list. Now, it also appears on the normal chart. And if you go back to Turbo Options, it also appears, look, I'm up 42% on this, okay? If I want to get out of this position, um, I can right-click here. I like to display it as last price, average price, so I can see. I'm in at 46. It's 66. I hit this pencil, and I want to run that up to, like, 60 cents now. Maybe 62 cents. Now it's switched to 62 cents. If this price drops to 62, it's going to kick me out. I'll be well in profit. Um, I, I like to right click here and display it as open PL. So I'm up 46% now. Um, I don't, yeah, you can't display those the other way. So, okay. If I want to get out of this, unfortunately, on Turbo Trader, I have to uh, either keep moving my stop up or I'll just X these out, cancel those orders, and I will sell when I want to sell. I've got it highlighted, one in the block, 59, 57%, and 60 almost, 60%. I'm going to sell. I'm just going to hit sell market. Take about 40 some percent there on that. Okay. <clears throat> if it would have fell down to where I had that stop loss and I left it active, it would have kicked me out on the stop loss. So that's that's a really quick and easy way to do it. Just go to your positions tab on on your I guess this is the trade block. I also like to make this a little bigger. I drag it up like that. Now Say I don't, you don't have positions up here. You're like, where are they? Well, if you don't, you can click any of these three lines on any of these blocks and add whatever drop-down tab widget you would like. So I'm going to do it one more time. Click. Come here to add a widget. Then I will go to all widgets. And you come over here under trade, I think. Sorry, maybe it's under quotes. Trade. Stocks. General. Well, it may not let me since I've already got it. Market quotes, chart options quotes. Hmm. Let me just find it real fast, guys. Sorry. Okay, sorry, guys. So I was I was right. Let's do it again because I already had positions here. It wouldn't let me add it again. So left click on your line there. Go to add a widget. It appears here for me right now because it's the last thing I went to. But let's go to all widgets so you can see it. And it is under um, under trade. I'm sorry. It's under trade. You'll go down. You'll see positions. Okay. Hit the plus icon. <clears throat> now, this is its own block. You could pop it on another screen or you can do what I do. I drop it in a drop down tab. So you click left click at the top header and you can move this around just drag it while you're clicked in it's going to light up blue over here next to that header just drop it and it becomes an x off 
then it becomes one of your drop down types. Turbo options, here's my ladder. Turbo trader, I think, is just for shares. And then positions is right there. So if I buy one, let's buy a call real quick. Just a quick one. There's my position. Um, let's go to positions and click on it. Remember, it puts it on your chart. Highlight it. Click the take profit stop loss. Just click it. Then drag down. Let's say it's at 83 cents. I'll set it at 60 cents. It's over here on the numbers, guys. So over on your right side. 59 cents. I'll set it. I'll click once. Drag it back up. Um, let's say I put it at $1.20. And then click again for my take profit. Confirm. And then place the order. Now we've set... Let me just make it a little bigger. We've set a take profit up here. We've set a stop loss down here. Um, my position is at 83. It is at 90 cents now. If I want to go back to my turbo options tab, I go over here. I can also see it here. Say I'm up 8% or so, 10%. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to click this uh, stop loss and drag it up. And then confirm it. Now my stop loss got moved up. See, it's at 73 cents. Uh, price is at 87. Stop loss is at 73. Take profit at a dollar or dollar twenty. It's at 89 cents. My position's at 83. I'm gonna click it again, and I'll drag it up to. I'll drag it up to 80. Confirm it. If I lo if I lose, I take a really small loss. I'm up four percent. I can see it down here on my turbo page, five percent. Or I can stay on the positions page. Uh, scroll over a little. Open P and L. Right there. See, you see it. Boom! It hit my stop. Knock me out, guys. See, that's how it works. All right, my friends. Hope that helps some of you. That's the desktop version. That's how I do it sometimes. Often I stay in the turbo tab and just do it right here. If you don't run the turbo options tab, you can still buy an option like you normally do up here under the options chain. Choose which one. Uh, market order, however you want to buy it. And then you would have to click on uh, your positions over here. Unless you got a positions tab somewhere else. Okay. All right, I hope this was helpful. Uh, please hit the like button. Please hit the subscribe button if you're not following me already. And then we'll go back to our, uh, I'll just go back to the regular spy chart on my watch list. And I also have other monitors over here with charts on them, so I can leave that option up if I wanted to. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. If you're in the Discord, please uh, reach out if you need me. Email for one-on-one -on -one coaching will be in the description. I love you all. Appreciate you so much. Big thanks to Stocks with Josh for having me and his family. Um, this is the place to be. The link for his Discord will be in the description. Um, if you subscribe through that link, you'll be supporting me. I highly appreciate that. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Have a, have a great weekend, guys. Love you. Peace.